So I think this is the situation that uh, Obama faces. Uh, things that were deemed inconceivable six months ago will be barely adequate six months from now. And um, only a president can achieve this. The president needs help from the citizenry. Uh, one of the intriguing questions is what is going to happen to this movement of young people that came together to help elect Obama? Will this simply be uh, an Obama club or will it take on a life of its own as a social movement, uh, uh, supporting him but occasionally pushing him, uh, as the civil rights movement did with Johnson, as the industrial labor movement did with Roosevelt, as the abolitionist movement did? Uh, with Lincoln, there's a kind of dance between great presidents and social movements. And lest we forget, uh, for every president who seized a crisis and turned it into an opportunity and became transformative, there's a president who uh, came to power in the face of a crisis and failed. Uh, Hoover, Carter, uh, Bush, and uh, not guaranteed. I think Obama I think many of us feel, most of us even, that there is the raw material of greatness here. But it is all going to unfold before our eyes in the next several months. So what does he need to do? Well, uh, I argue in the book and uh, in my uh, talks, uh, my efforts to influence them as a, as a friendly uh, critic, that um, he needs to be much more radical as a president than he has been as a candidate. Not radical in the sense of crazy left wing, but radical in the sense of perceiving that the conventional wisdom will not solve the problem. And the conception of what needs to be done has to be transformed or he, like Hoover, will chase a depression downward.